Hello folks, um, welcome to our little uh, video tutorial on uh, fixing red blotchy skin tones. Um, this primarily applies to the sensitive Caucasian skin types, but uh, some of these principles can be reversed for, say, Asian skin types. But um, here is our most uh, embattled example. We have a, a person uh, with some lots of sunburn, uh, affecting the, his skin tones and uh, the idea here is um, we want to reduce the redness okay so we're going to push the redness more towards the yellow um, but the challenge is he's got other skin tones that are fine that are also red so we're going to be using a, a simple it's like a simple one uh, adjustment layer fix uh, from hue saturation. So we're going to open up these the reds uh, channel to um, to address the redness, but we're going to use the hue saturations. There's some specialized um, control sliders that will allow us to narrow in on a specific range of red while leaving the rest of those red tones alone. So if it doesn't quite make sense yet, uh, watch along and We'll see how that happens. So uh, right now we're looking at uh, red skin, you know, the, the nose and his cheeks, probably where he's wearing sunglasses, uh, the ears, but even in like the eyes and so on. So anyway, so let's uh, get started. So all we really have to do is start off with a hue saturation adjustment layer, which I make from the bottom middle of our layers palette. And there is hue saturation. So on its own, so here's the properties panel. So what we want to do right away is click where it says master and choose reds, or you can choose option three. And you know, this might be a bit of an optional stage, but uh, it's kind of the way I learned it. So we have our little eyedroppers are plus and our minus. So this helps us, like when we're gonna look at these little, this little target sliders here in the rainbow, um, these little eyedroppers are gonna work in sort of in conjunction with this area here. And we'll click the plus and say, hey, Photoshop, here's some of the specific color we're gonna use. Now, this can actually be useful because if Photoshop determines that this is not red in some other color, it will correct itself. So you're often a safe bet with uh, picking a color in the lips, but um, yeah, let's go somewhere in the middle of the nose here. Click plus, so nothing has happened. So this is just us narrowing things down. Then we're gonna use the negative eyedropper to just tighten this range just a little bit more. And experience from this photo, I could kind of like click and sort the, the scruff under his lip. But I could probably go around the top of the forehead here and say, hey, this is good skin tones. And then, so nothing, again, no visual feedback as of yet. So we need to really know what we're about to affect. So the hue slider, we're gonna take this and pull all the way to the left just for visualization. So everything is gonna go shades of electric purple and uh, blue. And we're gonna go all the way to the left. So, all right, that looks pretty terrible, but this shows you a visual map of where the most red parts on his face are. So his lips and the cheeks over here and even around the eyes and the ears. And then the more desirable skin tones are the, are the bright purple. So what we want to do though is get this little slider on the right. So again, if you're doing with Asian skin tones, you might start from the left instead and work on the yellows instead of the reds, but uh, let's keep things simple. So there's this little notch over here. We're going to click on it and start to drag to the left ever so slightly, keeping our eye on the picture until enough of the skin tone that we do not want to affect, it kind of comes back into light. So this comes with experience and your personal taste. So but this is around where we want to be. So now it's the end of the visualization. And so now the only remaining step really, so we can reset the hue to zero. So what this means is the reds are as, uh, leaving things at a zero means everything's unchanged. And now we're going to push the hue slider to the right, which is going to push towards the, the yellow. Um, and so if we exaggerate it, we should see things go yellow and then electric green. So obviously we don't want to go all the way to plus 180, but um, you know, usually anywhere between six to, to 10 will help uh, solve most people's problems. 
And when it's particularly strong, in this case, we got like maybe about a plus 14. So, and then really only one thing left to do is you want to brush out the areas that should stay red no matter what. So regardless of like a sunburn situation, lips don't typically get sunburned. They just have their whatever natural color. So we go B for brush. We've got our uh, mask selected. So then we're going to hit the, we're, I'm, I'm in white right now. So X and adjust my radius. This doesn't have to be too precise. And then I'm just brushing with black in my mask. So what this does, let's do hit the backslash key. So you see exactly where I brushed. So a simple mask like this, like if he was wearing a red tie or there was something red or possibly red hair, you, know, you would you would brush and protect those areas away. So in this case, it's just the lips. And so we can see, watch that sunburned nose, sunburned cheeks, sunburned ears, redness around the eyes, all of that stuff just kind of normalizes itself and blends with um, the remaining skin tones. So, and that is your tutorial for today. And uh, an easy and very useful um, thing to incorporate as we correct skin tones. So, and that is that.